Uh, now on the inside scoop, I'm talking with our track man here at Northville Downs, Tom Lenhart Jr. Hello. Hi. How you doing, Dustin? I'm doing great. Uh, in addition to being track superintendent here, you also have a, a farm. Uh, you're the owner of Best Chance Farms here in, uh, in it's Northville, right? Uh, yes. It's actually Plymouth. We're right around the corner, about eight miles from here. I have a half-mile track and 90 stalls. and it's a, it's a nice facility. And a lot of the people that race here also uh, oh, yes, stable at your yeah. Yes, they do. And they do quite well, actually. Yeah. Besides being a track man, uh, I know you personally. I know you have a lot of experience in other parts of uh, harness racing and uh, horse, everything, anything to do with horses. Uh, what what are your other, uh, some of the other things you do? Um, well, I grew up on a ranch and with 150 head of horses. And then when I was young, in my 20s, I started my own and maintained for 250 to 350 head for 10 years and then I owned the St. John's Horse Auction, did that for about 10 years and then I landed here nine years ago. Okay. How long have you been uh, a track man? Uh, nine years the entire time that you've been here? Yeah, I, ca I came here nine, maybe ten years ago and I worked under Barb Benton mm -hmm. um, the first season and then I took over the next season as the track man and I worked with uh, some guys from some other tracks. Okay, so that can be a pretty tricky job, uh, especially in the Michigan winter months and you get the, the cold and the freezing and uh, what what's the toughest part of the job? The toughest part of the job is trying to get back home with your family. Yeah. It, when, in the bad weather it turns into a seven day a week, 24 hour worry. Um, what we try and do is Instead of worrying about how fast it is or anything, we try and maintain a, a good, safe, consistent surface. That's the most important thing. That keeps the horses safe and, in turn, keeps the driver safe. Mm -hmm. So everything that you do out there, including the long hours you spend, you, you pretty much do everything you can to make an optimal racing surface, which we notice a lot of times we have horses that just fly over this track and uh, at different times. Uh, it, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the caliber of the horse, but a lot of it has to do with the surface too, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for stopping to talk. I know you have a lot of work to do, and we'll let you get back out there. I saw you earlier, and I actually took a ride with you out there putting stone on the track, and you've got water going on and doing everything you can to get it ready for tonight. So uh, thanks, Tom, for coming by. Oh, yeah. Thank you, and uh, track will be fast tonight. All right.